So imagine you have some plane, then you have a whole bunch of particles which are interacting strongly and forming some quantum soup. In the ADS CFT, this is what you call a conformal field theory. So it's a highly chaotic entangled quantum state. So in string theory, the way you describe such a conformal field theory is your particles really are the end of some string. And these strings, the way they connect up here is what's mediating the entanglement. So where do these strings live? Well, they live in some emergent direction. So you have some coordinates x, which are your physical coordinates. And so you want to solve the quantum mechanics in D spatial dimensions. So the string chairs come by and say, you're really living in D plus one dimension. And these strings are hanging out in this extra dimension. What Maldacena showed was this extra dimension was in fact curved. This space is what's called anti decider and that's representing the curvature of the space, and it's in D plus one dimensions. You can solve gravity in, in ADS2 or ADS D plus one. In this limit, the large n limit, you can ignore the strings and just do gravity. These strings also emit gravitons and so they interact with each other and that's what curves the space.